So hello guys and welcome to a new video. In this video I would like to show you how to create an element 3D text with a saber effect on it like I did in a few videos ago, like I think it's a week ago already. Um, okay, so I'm talking about this video, I will show you guys now. So this is not very hard to do, but there are some tricks to you have uh, you should think about, and there are many ways to do it. But I will show you the way I have used or the way I did it. So let's first start After Effects. So let's go to After Effects and just create a new project or a new composition. I will call this one Main Comb. Main Comb, and I will give it 50 seconds. Lana, hit OK. And I'm going to add first a new solid. Oops, there we go. Right click, new solid. Put this one background. So I will give this a dark blue color. Maybe a little bit to the gray color. I see my composition size is a little bit different. So I go to my composition and then composition settings. And I will see the night to 1080. Oops. So there we go. Full HD. I will scale this one. No, I will make another solid. So new solid. New. There we go. So now we have a background. I will call this one a background again. And now we can add. First, we are going to add a text. And the text that we are going to use for our element tree effect. So I will call this one bar. Just bar, and I will give it a myriad pro, and I will give it a bolt. Oops, not a tad bolt. Big enough, like 400, and make sure it's centered in my project. And I will rename this one to Element 3D Text, and I will duplicate this one by Control D, and I will call that one. Saber, saber text. So that text we go to use for saber. And make sure it's exactly the same text. It's not different than the other. So it's just a copy. Um, just hide them both and just create a new solid. Doesn't matter what color because we are going to rename it first. Element 3D. We give it an element 3D effect on it. So first of all, we go into our effects and type element. Just drag it to the solid and just have to wait a little. And we are going to create a new solid and I will call it one saber. And I will drag the saber effect on that solid as well. So now we have like two layers, an element 3D and a saber, and they are both the center middle in the middle of your composition, and that's what we want. First of all, I'm going to hide saber first, so we are going to work with the element 3D effect first. Uh, I'm going to custom layers, custom text and mask, and then I will pet layer element 3D text. Make sure my text is hidden. So now we can go to our scene setup and just click on extrude button and there we go, there is our bob text and I will click on the extrude model and I'll just scale it a little bit bigger or you can go into the settings that does exactly the same but I just, I just hit on the extrude or on the uh, scale option and I will give it a cool preset bevel that's included with element 3 and let's pick a nice one. Just drag some over it. This one looks cool, but I'm not. I just want some more colors in it. So nope, not that one. This one's cool with the gold edge. All right. So this is my element 3D. Through text, I just press OK, and as you can see, it's just in the middle of the project. Well, it doesn't really match with the background, so I will give the background a another color. But I just go to the solid settings, 
and just make this one black or maybe just a little bit more a little bit grey, dark grey so there we go, this is also our uh, element 3D text but now we're going to add a saver on it and just click on the saver just make sure the layer is um, is on I don't know how it's called just click on the eye from saver and go to the render settings and we make sure our composite settings is set to transparent so we can see through it and well, and if you don't see these options, just make sure you have clicked on that arrow from Reddit render settings. Some people think these three alpha mode, infer mask, and use text alpha. These three options are the render settings, but make sure to click on that arrow so you can see more options. And I will go to my customized core, and I will make sure to set it to text layer. And now I can select a layer, so I will select the saver text. And as you can see, it's just right above my LM 3 d now, but the effect is too, well, it's too much as you can see, the intensity is way too high, so I will just select a cool preset, like, um, like energy, energy looks cool, the color, mm, color is okay for now, uh, glow intensity, you can just mess around with it, I don't know what kind of effect you want, so just play around with that, and just give it something cool. I, I'm just trying something like maybe one. I'm not I'm not uh, going to get something perfect. It's just to show you the idea how to make these kind of effects. And oh, that looks good. So, something like this. But now the tricky part is uh, you can just click on the text layers and drag them beneath everything. These are just backup files now. Um, the tricky part is now you want to animate them both. But the thing is, Element 3D has a world transform and Saber doesn't have that. So if you were going to animate the world transform like uh, something like this, you know that you can't see the 3D effect. So maybe something like this. You can see the Element 3D can uh, rotate like in 3D space but the saber can't and if you give saber a 3D uh, like toggle, click on toggle switches and you give it a 3D option like clicking on this box um, saber is always a 2D layer and you can't see it's not extruded so you can't see any depth at all so the part is you don't make sure you don't animate elm 3D and saber just don't mess up position of that um, the part how to animate it is just by clicking on layer and go to the new camera and just um, you know while well, the name doesn't really matter just hit on OK and as you can see when I'm clicking on that camera and I'm pressing C for well if you press C you can move your camera around I can look around my element 3D layer and my saber layer but the thing is saber is standing exactly in the middle of my element 3d and that's because element 3d has an extruded depth so it's a, like a real 3d text and saber is just a 2d image that can rotate in 3d space so the thing is just make sure to go and go with your camera like 90 degrees like exactly in the middle like something like it, when you're seeing that red line and then click on saber and as you can see I've hit uh, 3D space on in that box just by clicking on toggle switches and you can see that box there and um, click on saber and just press V or click on this arrow uh, left top corner in the selection tool and just make sure the Z space is something like like the edge of element 3D layer so sometimes you have to press C to look if it's exactly at the same position so now you can see it's almost at the same position and now we can just go back to our starting position or just click somewhere else, delete the camera and go to layer new camera so we have a camera that's just at a default position and it's not like maybe something like here or here so make sure it's exactly in the beginning the default position of a camera and now we can animate our text and as you can see Saber always have an autom automatic animation, like when I'm moving a time indicator you can see the text is already animated. 
But the thing is, um, now we can click on the camera and go to our options and I will just go to the camera options and I can uh, maybe zoom into my text. Maybe a little bit something like this. Oops. Then maybe just like a very weird position, something like this. And I will just click on my zoom. I'll click on my on all these um, transform options because I don't know what kind of options will be used when I'm just messing around with my camera. And I think that's it. So now I can go to maybe two seconds. And I can just mess around with what p kind of path my camera should go with and just something like this, make sure to zoom out make it to 2000 no, it's way too far, so I've set it to 4000 oh, no, four, not 400 4000 and just mess around with it, just create your own animation path and as you can see it's now animating from the B to just when it's all at full screen so it's a very simple, simplistic animation, but I hope you guys get the ID and now you can get your own animation for that. So I'm not going to animate a whole uh, thing, so you understand what I mean. So the part, of the thing now is we have to animate our saber. So click on the saber layer and just mess around with the settings, like the uh, start side is now at 100, but you can leave it at 100. And mess up the uh, start offset so you can see it's beginning from 0 to or, or beginning from 100% to 0 so let's set it to 100% click on on the watch and when Bob is at well in the center at the last keyframe for our camera Saber is finished so Saber should be at Zero. So now you can see Saber is animating while my uh, element 3D text is also animated. So <clears throat> well, you, you get the thing. And as you saw in my video, in the, the excuse me for that. I'm going to mute this video first. So when you saw in my video, um, I think maybe at the end. Yeah, you can see some smoke and that's also created within Saber. Um, I will show you guys how I did that. It's very easy. Just click on a new solid first. So I'll call this one smoke. Smoke. And I will drag uh, Saber onto my smoke. I will just mess around with the um, position of my cores. Something like this. And I will click on the presets and I will search for smoke. Or wind, I guess it was windy. Or was it smoke? Does it even have smoke? smoke, smoke, smoke. Nope. No, it was windy. And I will make sure my glow intensity is a little bit higher. And I will just mess around with these settings till I see a very cool smoke. Maybe like this, something like this. And I will go to my customized core. Core softness at maximum, the halo size should be lower, or maybe bigger, nope, bigger, just big enough. And as you can see it's already creating a cool smoke, and I will just give it a, a little bit of an orange color so it does fit with my other saber effect, um, maybe something like this. And also as the other saber layer, this smoke is already animated, so that's already done within within um, Saber plugin. So now I will go to my render settings again and I will make sure it's transparent and I will just well, maybe just set the opacity first to zero pressing T opacity zero and I will just make, make an animation like it's now at 100 so we've got a little bit of a smoke now I will change the core start position a little bit so it's a little bit bigger. Something like this. And I'll move your keyframes a little bit. Or to the right. 
maybe not 100%, that's maybe too much overkill. Maybe add 40%, and I can duplicate my smoke, and I will put one smoke beneath our LM3D effect, so you can see a little bit of a depth in it, so it's a little bit more of a 3D smoky uh, effect. And I will change that core, start and just the position a little bit more, so it's not just one line and it's a little bit more distorted looking like. So now we've got a cool smoke and you can just animate them both uh, like the opacity is also gone at, at a specific part of your animation. So that, there it's gone. So now you can see Bob and some smoke, the smoke is gone. And maybe when the smoke is gone, you can also um, just make sure the Bob Saber is also gone. So we can go to the start offset again, or maybe the end size. No, not the end size, the end offset, I guess it was. If the offset, just animate the offset and just make sure to set it to zero. So now we just have a cool animation. So now you can see um, Saber is onto our element 3D text, some smoke is coming and Saber is going away and the smoke is gone. Maybe just make sure the smoke is gone a little bit later than the Saber effect. So there we go. And you can also just get a null object and make sure to Give it a little bit more of a scaling. Also looks always looks good when the animation of the element 3D is. Um, oops, I have to look at the camera. So when Bob is at full size at the last end position, you can always set a cool scaling effect to it. Always looks good. 110 percent. I don't know what kind of. Just link the element and saber. To the null object and and it just have a little bit of a scaling so that always looks good just the smart details and just mess around with your project i hope you guys like this video and i hope it's a little bit much much more clearer than when i type it um, i tried to explain what how i did this video last week but it was kind of hard to explain it while typing so that's why i've created this video um, <clears throat> if you got any questions about it, just leave it in the comments. And, well, I see you guys in the next video. So, bye!